Hi, I'm Kate Larson, editor of Spinoff Magazine, and I wanted to give you a little peek uh, into dizzing. So we have a wonderful article in our fall issue from Kim McKenna called Wool Combing and the Importance of Planking. But it can be really hard to show dizzing, which is the final step in removing fiber from wool combs, uh, in illustrations. So we thought we would put together just a short video to show you that part of it. And so this is wool that has been combed. This is border lester and it's been combed and then I lifted it off the head. So if you have the fibers and they're pressed down against the head of the comb, it can make it really hard to diz. So you wanna lift those fibers up off the head. Um, some people will describe it as lifting it up straight up off the bottom like that. I usually think of it as kind of fanning it out, whatever works for you. And then what we're gonna do is pull that fiber, the end of the beard, we're gonna pull that through one of the holes on the diz. And my diz has a lot of options. There are lots of different dizzes. One thing I like about this is it's very lightweight. And uh, you can use a threader, something like a crochet hook. I tend to just start like this, give it a twist, fold it back, and poke it through one of those holes. So in her article, Kim talks about how what she likes to do is have one hand pinch in one direction and the other hand pinch in the opposite. And which you choose is up to you. Everybody's different. But um, I would do it the same way that Kim describes. And she's pinching with her right hand up and down like this. And then this hand is going to draft out about half to a full staple length of fiber. And then the other hand, my left, is going to push this back and pinch side to side this time and draw out. So my right hand pushes back and pinches top to bottom, left hand pinches side to side. And Kim discusses, discusses in her article why She would do that and keep that sliver even as we draw it off. And you're gonna go until most of those long fibers come off and you can see that there's starting to be some debris coming through. So I'm gonna break that off and this is gonna go in the waste pile. And what I'm left with is a nice long sliver and this can be uh, stored for later use or used right now. And she discusses in the article uh, how you would prepare it in two different ways, uh, whether you're going to use it now or later. So thank you very much. Check out the fall issue.